going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random, and anyone who's ever come from the country knows that driving on country roads can be pretty dangerous. The roads are full of blind corners, there's potholes, not to mention all the deer and dozens of animals that can jump in front of you at any given time, causing you to swerve into a ditch, or you can even have one of your tires shredded. Now, any of these things will be pretty bad during the day, but the true nightmare is a dark country road. Now, although people install lights on their Crown Vicks for various reasons, the purpose of today's install is to maximize your visibility and your safety. Remember, state laws dictate which lights you can't and can't have. Although eh, the universal rule is that white lights are allowed while stationary, it's wise to check your local laws before installing. Which brings me to today's video. That's right, we will be installing a set of stealth strobe lights on the Crown Victoria. The purpose for installing these uh, stealth strobe lights is for that worst case scenario if you ever break down on the side of one of these crazy country roads especially roads with extremely poor lighting conditions and before i start installing these guys i highly recommend you stick it out to the very end of the video that's because i'm going to show you guys just how much of a difference having these bad boys can make these tiny little lights right here can be the difference between somebody rear-ending you and your family in a pitch black dark road or are you making it out alive? Now, if you're wondering where to get these uh, stealth uh, tag license plate strobe lights, it's not some crazy hidden website. You got to go online. Nothing like that, guys. You can find these at your local AutoZone. These are very simple white strobe lights, as you guys can see. They're actually incredibly, incredibly cheap. And it even comes with a control box. You can increase the speed of the strobes and you can even change the flashing pattern i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so we're going to start off with a basic slow we're going to increase it and you can have these flash as fast as you want now we're going to go ahead and change the mode for you kind of go around and cycle through the different kind of modes this has and it always makes a difference if you increase the speed let's get let me show you the modes with increased speed So there you guys have it. And without further ado, man, let's go ahead and uh, install ourselves some stealth strobe lights. Now installing these license plate uh, strobes is incredibly, incredibly easy, guys. This is what you get when you open up the box. This is one of the strobes, as you can see. This is a control box. And the best part about this is that you don't have to wire anything to your battery or to any of your other lights. If you wanted to, you can definitely go that route. If you want something easy and simple, it already comes installed to two 9-volt batteries. Now I took out one of the strobe lights so you can see what it looks like. As you can, like I said earlier, super easy to install. Comes with the 3M tape set up, ready to go. If you look at the control box, you're going to see there's a positive sign and a negative sign. And there's two little cables. One of the cables has a white stripe on it. That one is going to the positive sign. The other one is a black cable and it's going to the negative sign. Then if you flip the control box again, uh, you're gonna see some Phillips head screws. Get yourself a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove both, remove both the screws and it'll loosen up your strobe wires. All right guys, now installation for this thing is actually quite simple, but there is a very uh, slight, a uh, little bit of drilling required. Nothing crazy, no hole that isn't already in your Crown Victoria. You're going to come down here and you see these two bolts that every Crown Victoria should have. You're going to go ahead and remove them. Now you see there is a hole right there and right there. But behind this entire area is a thin piece of, uh, of metal. And that's where our drill bit comes in handy. We're going to use it to go ahead and puncture through to the other side. And that way we'll be able to feed our strobe light wires right through the hole. I just want to show you guys real quick. Uh, that's the hole right there. You can see daylight through it. That's what you kind of want. There's probably a bunch of different methods to do this. This is how I figured it was the easiest way. If you want to do it a different way, you're more than welcome to. 
feed it through the hole you just made and just pull it right through. And now once you have fed both your cables through and you pulled them in nice and snug, you're gonna lower your uh, trunk and you're gonna position where you want your stealth strobe lights to be. Now, I'm gonna wanna put them right around here, like I said, so you can get maximum uh, view and range from the actual strobe lights. But you can mount them wherever you want, guys. They're gonna be pretty damn stealthy. Uh, I'll show you guys once I install them, so here we go. All right, guys, so I finally uh, set up my two stealth strobe lights. Now we're gonna move on to the next step, and we're actually almost done with this. But you see what I'm saying? They're kind of stealthy. It's really hard to see, but if you go down here, but if you go down here, you see where I have them set up. There isn't too much wire exposed, and they're actually at a pretty good angle. Your license plate still goes where it should. Now the next step is to route these two cables to the front of your car. But I already have a hole made where I have my CB radio antenna, so I'm gonna be feeding them through. So uh, it's all done. I finally finished installing it. This is how I have it set up for now. Uh, I'll tell you guys in just a minute why I kind of just uh, did it so quick like this. All right, so when I when I say go, baby, uh, in three, two, one, stealth license plate strobes. Here we go. Look at that. All right, all right. So, like I promised you guys, you're gonna see a full blown nighttime. These crazy ass dark, no lighting whatsoever, backcountry roads. We're gonna put these uh, license plate strobes to the test. So before I show you guys what they're capable of at nighttime, if you made it this far into the video, I have something I wanna tell you very quickly. Two things. Number one, I'm getting another Crown Victoria. This is gonna be strictly a parts car. I'm gonna be transferring a lot of parts from this car into a much healthier, much newer Crown Vic. So the Crown Vic content is gonna be ramping up very soon. Uh, sometime towards the beginning of January. So keep an eye out for that. Second thing, also towards the beginning and middle of January, I'm buying another old retired police car. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Number one, it's not a new Ford Taurus. Number two, it's not a new Chevy Caprice. Number three, it's not a new Chevy Impala. It's an old retired cop car. And it has a big old American V8 in it, guys. Faster than the Crown Victoria. Start guessing in the comment section down below. Anyways, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and wait for darkness to fall upon the Crown Vic and see just how well the stealth license plate strobe lights do. I talk to you. Take my hand through the flames. I talk to you. I'm a sucker for pain. I got the squad tatted on me from my neck to my ankles. I'm punching from the man, got us all in rebellion. We gonna go to war, yeah, without failure. Uh